Hi, I'm Scott Sischer, Professor of Pediatrics at the Jaffe Food Allergy Institute, ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City. I want to talk to you about choosing wisely food allergy testing. Now, if you want to have food allergy testing done, it's important to discuss your symptoms with your doctor. Unfortunately, food allergy tests, those skin tests or blood tests that measure something called food-specific IgE, those tests are not like a pregnancy test that just says, yes, you're pregnant or no, you're not, or yes, you have a food allergy or no, you don't. They have to be selected and interpreted in the context of your history. Your doctor should be finding out what were the symptoms that make you think you might have a food allergy? What was the timing of those symptoms to the foods? And so first, your doctor has to figure out are your symptoms really those that would be a food allergy? Secondly, they would be selecting the specific tests, whether they're skin or blood tests, that match what the concerns are for the foods. Let me give you an example of how this could go terribly wrong. If you just grab people out of the mall and test them for a peanut allergy with a skin test or a blood test, almost 8%, that's almost 1 in 10, would test positive to peanut. Obviously, 1 in 10 people does not have a peanut allergy. Our bodies sometimes see foods that we eat and will have a positive test. It's called sensitization, but it doesn't mean there's really an allergy. Most of those people, those 8% with a positive test of peanut, they can eat peanut fine, and they never will and never have had a problem. But when your doctor hears a story, like you ate something that could have had peanut in it and you don't usually eat peanut, and you've had hives, like mosquito bite reactions immediately afterwards, or wheezing, or any other immediate reactions, then the suspicion goes up, the antenna goes up, the tests are done for peanut, and if they're positive, they might confirm there's an allergy. I would suggest being evaluated by a board-certified allergist if you are contemplating uh, taking a food out of the diet or worrying about a food allergy, because it's very important to have the right diagnosis. You don't want to be avoiding a food that you don't have to be avoiding, and you also don't want to be possibly ingesting a food that's going to cause a severe reaction. With a proper evaluation, you can find out which foods or are or are not causing a problem for you, get the right advice about what to avoid or not to avoid, and also be protected because your doctor, if they have diagnosed a life-threatening food allergy, needs to teach you how to properly avoid the food and what to do in case of an emergency, like use self-injectable epinephrine for a severe reaction. So if you follow those simple steps, I think you'll be choosing wisely when it comes to getting tested for food allergies.